Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix Watanatra? In this tutorial, I'll be showing how you can easily make your images better or how you can make your photos better by simply drawing lines over them in Photoshop. So, simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if I told you are watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel. So, simply do me that favor. So, right now I'm using Photoshop 2025 and this is the latest version of Photoshop. So we are going to be using the curves adjustment layers to draw lines and so just come right here to the adjustments and simply come and select curves. So after creating curves, by the way, this step should be done after you have done the skin retouching and maybe the color correction and color grading. So this should be one of the last steps for your editing workflow. So after creating the curves adjustment layer, just come right here to brighten up the image. So just come this point, a left click, and drag it up up to when you feel like the image is bright enough. And come to this layer mask and press Ctrl I on the keyboard to invert the effect. Remember in Photoshop, so we are using Ctrl I to invert this layer mask and Command I for Mac. So after inverting it, simply double click right here, and you're going to name this to Remember, we just brighten. So, brightening is for dodging. And you're going to do the same for the dark area. So, just come back and create one more curves adjustment layer right there. And simply drag this pointer on the left hand side and drag it in just like that. Until when you feel like the image is somehow darker. And after doing that, just come and press Ctrl I on the keyboard to invert the effect. Double click once again right here and you're going to name that to burn. So after doing that, we can put these two in a group by holding down control or you can hold down the command button and select both layers. Then dragging these layers, left click and hold down and drag them to a folder. And you can rename that folder to dodge and burn. So after doing that, the next thing is going to be click on this drop down arrow to open up these or the group and come to the dodge layer remember when we are dodging we are basically enhancing the highlights and when we are burning we are enhancing the shadows so this step for drawing lines on the image is for creating shape or dimension to the photo that you're trying to edit so i just going to come to the dodge layer mask right here and make sure the layer mask is selected then we are going to come to the brushes here and make sure we have selected the brush tool and for the settings make sure the hardness is set to zero and soft round brush is selected make sure the mode is set to normal opacity at 100 percent flow at 100 percent and after doing that make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches so if at all you have any other random color apart from black and white you can reset by left clicking on these two tiny swatches right there or you can simply press d on the keyboard D is going to reset this to black and white or the default colors. So what we want to do, we're just going to draw lines over the brightest areas of this image using the selected brush. So make sure white is the foreground color. And we're just going to increase on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. So we are basically going to draw those lines over the brightest areas of this image. So I feel like this area should be bright. So I'm just going to draw lines on those areas. So I'll just come and draw just some tiny lines and come to this highlight on the nose and I'll just draw a line and come to the chin area and also draw lines. So you have to make sure that you draw lines over the areas you feel should be bright first. Then you can now come and select the burn layer mask. And we're going to draw lines over the darkest areas of this image. So I'm just going to draw lines just like that over those dark areas. Remember, burning is for the shadow area. So come to the nose area and also draw a line just like that. So you can as well come and burn these areas just like that. And also come and burn this area. So take your time as you're doing this. So we could as well come and brighten up this area of the neck and brighten there. 
and also brighten this collarbone and can also as well darken that and darken that area so after doing that you may see that we haven't done enough so with this layer mask selected you can see that we have the properties window opened right here so if at all the properties is not displaying just come and make sure window and come and select the properties option make sure it is checked so come to right here where you can see this is for the curves and this is for the the, the masks so with the density at 100 percent just come to feather and when you try you left click and drag this feathering option you can notice that as you're dragging it up the effect is blending into the image so i'm just going to take it up and i'm going to do the same for the dodge come to the feather and also take up the feathering until when i feel like the effect is blending well and better into the image so if at all you feel like you have overdone the burn you can come and take down the feathering slightly so this is what we have right now right now you may not be seeing the effect in real time but when we close the overall group and we turn this on and off before after before after you can see how nice the image has turned out to be and it looks better than it was initially before so this is the before after before after so this technique of dodging and burning tends to create a better look and a more defined look by creating or adding shape or, or dimension to the image so when you feel like the effect is too much for your liking you can come to these individual layers and also turn down the opacity of every individual layer to your liking or if at all you feel like the dodging and burning is a little bit too much you can come to the overall group and simply reduce on the opacity to your liking so i'll just leave mine to 100 percent so that you can see the effect in real time so, so as a bonus if at all you want to add glow or shine to your image you can come and create a curves adjustment layer right here and after creating it just come and brighten up the image just like that and just simply double click on this layer mask to open up the layer style dialog box and after doing that make sure the blend if is set to gray or pass at 100 percent and fill or pass it also to 100 just come to the underlying layer and left click and hold down and drag this away from the shadow areas and make sure that it is only the brightest areas that are affected by the effect so when you feel like the effect is a little bit too harsh hold down the option key on the keyboard or you can hold down the, the alternate key on the keyboard for windows and split this so that the effect can blend better into uh, the image and just come and click okay select the white layer mask and simply press ctrl i on the keyboard to invert the effect so with the white brush we can reveal the glow or shine onto the model skin so i'm just going to come and paint just like that you can see right now the model skin is looking better and now it is glowing so i'll show you the overall before and after for this kind of image and how we have been able to transform it so this was the image before and this is the after before after so by just drawing lines and also adding that ten, tiny glow to the image we have made the image look better than it was before before after so this is how you can draw lines on your images to make them look better in photoshop and if i told you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if i told you are watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography Thanks for watching and see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.